So Rooster Cogburn seems to have been doing his duty this week and we are actually hoping that he's now, oh there he goes, doing his duty on cue. Absolutely perfect young man. Um, so we have now collected 10 eggs and we're ready to put them in the incubator so uh, let's go and do that. Now I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about the incubators that we have. We actually have two um, and we bought one initially because we were only intending to use them for fertility testing. So we bought Cheap and Cheerful. Now that's this one and you might have seen this model advertised on places like eBay for example. It retails for about £30. Now there's a couple of major issues with it. The first one is that it asks you um, about the relative humidity in your area where you're going to incubate the eggs. Um, who knows that? Um, not many people do. And the second thing is the egg turning is only roughly about um, an 80 degree angle. Now, if your eggs aren't turned adequately, the yolk can actually stick to the outside of the egg, which will um, make the uh, development actually fail. So we decided to invest in this one, which is a Brinzi. Um, it is one of the market leaders. Um, it's Novation 28. Now we bought the larger one because we actually had two hens last year who were having trouble covering uh, 12 eggs. So what we did is we only gave them four and we put eight in the incubator uh, running alongside and then a couple of days before hatching was due we popped those eggs under her and they hatched out perfectly. Little chicks running all over the place. Now this is much, much better, and I don't know if you can see, if I move this, you've roughly got about 120 degree angle on that turning, which is much, much better for your eggs. So I'm just going to pop each of the eggs in the cradle, and I don't know if you can see, the way that you should store eggs is actually with pointy end facing down. So the eggs are now safely in the incubator. What we'll do now is we'll check the humidity levels each morning to see whether we need to top up the water. And in seven days, we will candle the eggs to see if we've got any growth inside. All candling means is shining a very, very bright light uh, through the egg. And um, that means that you can actually see a little bit of what's going on inside. With any luck, Rooster Cogburn will be up to par and we can start selling eggs online. The chickens are supposed to pay for themselves. That's the whole idea of the smallholder philosophy. And they pay for themselves in one of two ways. The first is by selling point of lay hens later in the year. And the second is through selling fertile eggs online. So we're hoping we can start to sell those eggs in uh, one week's time. So join us in seven days and we'll keep you up to date.